Now, I'll be honest, I was feeling a little trifling knowing that I'm sick going into this event. But everybody in there was hacking, sniffling, sneezing, blowing their nose, coughing. <laughs> I, I, you know, two wrongs don't make it right, but I feel like mine is the lesser of the evils. Must be the season of the week. Yo, I look sick. I'm sniffing my nose. It's 8.30, no, well, it's 8.42. I was supposed to be at this HR seminar. This thing had the nerve to start at 7.30, and I haven't even started getting dressed. I'm in here my little romper. <laughs> I told my boss I wasn't feeling good. She told me I could stay home. Um, so, we'll, we'll see. It's out by the Costco, and I do need to get gas. So, I'm like, if I'm going to go to Costco to get gas, <laughs> might as well swing through and get a free lunch, right? Well, not really free. I had to pay for the conference um i'll catch some of it enough to make use of registering i'm gonna get ready after i drink my tea y'all the, the garlic is in intense oh, my nose is running sorry the garlic is intense in this thing you know people often say to me johnny you have such pretty hair why don't you wear your hair down because this because this now, granted, I have to take some responsibility because I didn't do anything with my hair last night. I just put my bonnet on and got into bed. But still, what am I going to do with this? It's going back. Back, back, back. So I made it to the conference. Um, they're currently in a breakout session that ends in 15 minutes. So I'm just sitting out here in the lobby until that time. They have a whole vendor expo hall, but I'm not buying what these people are selling. So why bother coming over there? Um, I love cashmere, cashmere period, but I love cardigans, um, and I'm wearing flat shoes now. I don't like, I don't like meeting people for the first time in flats, but because my health is not optimal, um, my energy is a little bit low, then I'm putting my flats on, because walking around in heels takes a little bit of effort. Um, oh my gosh, yesterday, my calorie intake was so low yesterday, and I think it's because I was at the office. I might need to start going to work more often just so that I'm not stuffing my face for no reason. Um, Wednesday, I went over, over my calorie budget, and then yesterday, I went way under. I was like over 2,200 is my caloric amount, and um, I worked out hard on Wednesday. I did like a cardio regular orange theory class not just weight training so i burned like over 400 calories so even with 400 calorie burn plus 2200 allotment i still went over so i was really stuffing my face on wednesday and yesterday i was under i think i had like 845 calories that i could still consume um and that's because i didn't eat breakfast or anything and i typically don't eat breakfast but i've been hungry this week and again that might be because i'm i'm sick you normally most people when they get sick they don't have an appetite not this girl not me i'd be hungry um so yeah so i'm just sitting here waiting they gave me a red card which means i have chicken for lunch i don't want chicken i have a craving for steak i like red meat i like steak um but i have been eating a lot of chicken lately I might need some iron that that could also be contributing to my current condition i had intended to show y'all how i put my mascara on i've been using lash primer and i think it's actually helping my lashes grow uh, but i was on the phone when um while i was doing my little face all i do is lashes and lips i can't bother with foundation and stuff because you already know i perspire so this is it hair is scraped back tight and I have a new pimple up here in my hairline. I now I just switched back to you can, using Eco Styler Gel. I haven't had a breakouts in a while. And then I'll switch back to this gel. That's the only thing that's different. And I have this pimple here. I like you could see how bad I broke out on my cheek here. Um, I think it's the gel. I, I think it might be the gel. We're gonna stop using it again and see what happens. Raise your hand if you remember Ultimate Software. Okay, this is 20 minutes away. A lot of hands. Who? So the HR profession was the key driver of value and value capture within most organizations. But what happened was. Uh, okay, I survived. Now, I'll be honest, I was feeling a little trifling knowing that I'm sick going into this event. But everybody in there was hacking, sniffling, sneezing, blowing their nose, coughing. 
I, I, you know, two wrongs don't make a right, but I feel like mine is the lesser of the evils that I witnessed today. So <laughs> now I'm going to go to Costco and get some gas and go home and get in the bed. I really need to go to the bathroom, but I don't want to go back inside. So we'll see if I can hold it. A friend of mine from grad school asked me if I wanted to go to a Barry's class. And I've been wanting to go to Barry's. I just haven't wanted to pay for it. And he's got um, some um, classes that his parents paid for um, that he's got to use up before he moves from Florida. So we'll see. I feel like at this point I'm so... Um, I want to say sick and tired, but that's not the, the right words. But I feel like if I actually do like sit down and rest, then uh, then I'm the battleship is going to sink. I gotta keep pushing. Um, no, I haven't done my laundry. I just took the stuff out of that big bucket and put it in these bags. But I put uh, trash bin liners. I put the clothes in the trash bin liners and then put them in the laundry bag so that I can carry them. Um, so yeah, so I can at least see out my passenger window now. So let me tell y'all, I really don't have a type. Um, hold on. My backpack is making my seatbelt thing go off. Okay. Um, gotta buckle my backpack in, show. So, <laughs> I don't really have a physical type. The keynote speaker, which I gave you a brief little video clip of him. I hope it was clear because I was trying to do it, like sneak and do it. He is just as short and round as he wants to be, but he was so smart that I was drawn to him. I was just like, wow, like really getting excited watching this little short round man talk about AI, but I was really, really getting into it. So yes, my type is the brain. I like a smart guy with dad jokes and I really don't care what he looks like. Why is Costco always like this? Costco ain't even, I mean, this ain't even that bad. I'm actually pulled up kind of far. There's more traffic behind me. I beat the line. Look at the traffic trying to get into Costco. Now, can I get out? I'm sitting outside of my house with a dog. I actually still haven't been to the bathroom yet, but he had to go. Um, I'll tell you the story. So I have these chairs uh, right in front of my door underneath the trees. And there's one day I'm sitting out here with a friend talking. Iguana falls from the tree, thud, hits the ground, scrambles back up the tree, and then Iguana poop comes raining down on us in the chairs. So I haven't sat in them chairs since. Iguana poop. I just imagine bird shit times three. All right, y'all, I'm home. The light's behind me, so that's why it looks like this. So I haven't heard from Jordan, so no berries today. Um, it's still early enough. It's I think it's, I don't think it's even four o'clock yet. Um, so I still have time to go to Orange Theory if I feel like it, but I'm not gonna push myself. Um, I'm just here in the bed now. I'm about to watch me some Time the Infamous vlogs. I made myself a little roast beef Sammy. Can you see my sandwich? My sandwich? I got a shirt on but no pants. So I'm trying not to show you my bottom half. <laughs> um, 
I also made myself some cool whip pudding. This is a, a large serving because they had some cheesecake on the table at their banquet that I wanted so bad. And I'm not going to lie, it was talking to me like Amy Marie, talking, 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 talking to me. So I ate a little piece. I didn't eat the whole thing. I ate two bites, maybe three. It was two big bites, so three bites of the cheesecake on the table. So I made myself some cool whip pudding. I was going to make cheesecake flavor, but I did lemon because that was also talking to me, apparently, this yellow shirt. And um, just so you know, if you try my little cool whip situation, it's going to be crunchy because the cool whip is meant to be dissolved in, in hot water or hot milk or whatever. Um, so, but I like it. I like the texture to it. It's kind of like sugar granules almost. Um... So that's that. If I feel like going to the gym, I'll go. Uh, but if not, that'll be it. I'm going to wrap the vlog up here. And I'll let you know tomorrow if I go to the gym. Oh, this is what I wanted to say. So I had in intended, not intended, but I have a taste for the, 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 the cottage cheese pancakes. I did actually end up making them on Sunday. Now, I didn't factor in the fact that you need to add baking powder when you're, cooking with almond flour and coconut flour so they were very thin flat they looked awful which is why i didn't show it to y'all but it tasted good so i gotta play around with the recipe some more since i'm not using traditional flour but it, it might work more dishes to wash because i had to use the blender in order to whip up the cream cheese <sighs> you know me and me and housekeeping ain't friends Tom says ballet flats are back but they never went out of style y'all saw i had on ballet flats earlier today but yeah, I can't even do cute haul videos like this because I got too much junk in my house. And I whole, got a whole box of she and stuff I don't need right there. All right, it's 4.45. I'd have to be at the gym at 5.30 to go tonight. I don't want to do weightlifting, which is 6.15. Uh, but I just dozed off a few minutes ago. I'm watching this. Well, not really watching because I fell asleep. The David Beckham um, documentary, whatever it is, on Netflix. So yeah, we in. Let me get up and wash my face, get this mascara off. But I'm done. So happy Friday, y'all. Good night and good whatever. When y'all watch this, love you. Thank you. And shout out to the two new subscribers. Yay! Thank y'all. And thank you to everybody else, too. Appreciate y'all so much. For real.